Hi everybody, welcome back to Fiber Fun with Olivia. My name is Olivia. I crochet, I knit, I like to have fun, I kind of geek out and nerd out on yarn <laughs> and all kinds of fibery projects. I hope you do too. Thank you for being here. If you are new visiting or a newer subscriber, welcome. I hope you have a little bit of fiber fun with us. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Let's talk some yarn. Okay, so today I have a book to share with you, Throwback Thursday Time. This is a book that I bought a few years ago, but it's an older book. And I remember when it first came out, um, I still lived in Florida. I was still a stay at home mom and it was brand new. So I couldn't get it on sale. And I thought, you know what? It's okay. I'll wait. Well, I didn't get it for the next few years, but then, you know, when we moved back to California, this is where I'm from. We're in uh, Northern California in the San Francisco Bay area. I found it at a thrift shop and I'm so excited to share it here with you today because I was looking through my books. I got rid of a lot of them. Um, I kind of regret, well, I don't know. No, I was decluttering. So it's good that I did and I donated some to the library, to friends and whatnot. But um, this one I kept because I knew I wanted to make this and I still want to make it again. I don't know if I'll get to it this year, but I wanted to share it with you all for Throwback Thursday since it is still October. So the name of this book is Creepy Cute Crochet, Zombies, Ninjas, Robots, and More. I just thought it was so adorable when it came out back in the day. Here's the back of it. <laughs> there are so many of these books out there. It's creepy, cute, crochet type, Halloween, lots of free patterns out there. Back in the day, this was newer though, so um, I'm really excited to have found it at a thrift shop for like a third of the price. Yay! I love thrift shops. Anybody out there love thrift shops? Let me know in the comments down below. I love thrift shops. Okay, so let's jump in um, and show you, oh my God, Eve, right at the beginning, Creepy Cute Crochet. Now it does have like an intro, Becoming Dr. Frankenstein with a crochet hook and a yarn, a few things to know before you begin. So they have a lot of really um, handy tips, handy information, resources, tools of the trade when making these smaller amigurumi type projects. So I think that that's really, really good. Um, optional materials, abbreviations, lots of really useful information. And they even have pictures on how to do stuff. So um, with the special techniques, a clean color change. Again, nowadays you can find that all over YouTube for free, but um, back in the day it was rare. So, um, and I'm so glad that now it's so common. But you know, if you do get the book, then you have it in your book as well. Um, another section on embellishments and weaponry, <laughs> which I think is so cute. <laughs> this is like the goth, you know, side coming out of me. And <laughs> look at this. Adorable. Okay, let's jump into the patterns. It starts here. All the creatures are together, uh, but we're going to look at them a little bit more closely. So, so the first one is Devil. Apparently, he's in the details. <laughs> Such a cute little devil, right? The next one is one of my faves because I love vampires. Nosferatu, bloodthirsty, yes, but adorable too. <laughs> I love how playful they are. And right after that is Queen Vampire. Be sure to keep her majesty out of the sun. <laughs> The next one I always thought, it must be a reference to something that I'm just not familiar with, but it's called Chulu, Chulu, Crazy Cute, it says. 
If anybody knows where this is supposed to be from, please let me know. I mean, I still think it's a cute little monster. You can even change up the colors. The next one is my absolute favorite in this book, and this is the one that I absolutely want to make. I want to make the vampires too, but this one for sure. Skeleton Bride and Groom, Till Death Do Them Part, it says. Adorable. Ah! <laughs> I want to make them so badly. This is a good thing that I'm doing Throwback Thursday because it reminds me what books I have that I don't want to get rid of because I still want to make some of these. Next up is Medusa. Bad hair day, seriously. The next one, I don't know how they come up with these things, but they're cute. Fuzzy alien, lovable in an otherworldly way. And they put it in a little cupcake pan. <laughs> the next one is Cleric, healing tortured souls with a mace. <laughs> I just have to giggle at all of these because they're just so cute. Cute little monsters. The next one is Amazon. Come on, just give her a reason. I don't know why this one is in like a creepy cute. I don't think she's creepy cute. I think she's just cute. <laughs> right? What do you guys think? Let me know. The next one is Corporate Zombie. Even the cup of coffee is right behind him. I think I want to make that one too. <laughs> oh, and I didn't read what it said. After Corporate Zombie, it says, Eat, Sleep, Work, Brains. <laughs> the next one is Grim Reaper, Death Has Many Faces. This one's pretty cute. And I agree. It is totally cute. Look at the little teeth. Oh. The next one is Trojan, always there when you need him. Again, I don't know why this one is creepy. I think it's just cute. Maybe you could add little vampire teeth to him and it could be a vampire Trojan. <laughs> I don't know. And very similar to Trojan is Spartan. He's rather terse, laconic ever. The next one is Cyber Zombie just needs to recharge with some brains. <laughs> My AC just turned off so you can hear the TV in the background upstairs. So apologies for that. But you know, we make it work in this household. I always say that in, in this household and in the, on this YouTube channel. Next up is Knight. He follows in a long tradition of legless, armless knights. <laughs> and I see why. Two more left. Ninja. Tiny, stealthy, deadly, cute. And last but not least, also another favorite and a reason why I got this book is Day of the Dead, Gal and Fellow. Death Becomes Them. Oh, I think this is my top, top, top favorite. Too adorable. And that is it for my creepy cute crochet book. Let's look at them all together where they had them at the beginning of the book one last time. Which one is your favorite? 
Do you have a favorite or do you have a few favorites? <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed this Halloween-y, creepy, throwback Thursday book. Thank you for joining me today and I will talk to you later. Bye!